Hi, welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks for PyTorch with Washington University. So in this part, we're going to take a look at functional programming within Python. We're going to look at MapReduce and Lambda functions. Okay, here you can see the notebook that we are going to utilize for this part. This, this notebook is, we're going to open this notebook in Colab just so that I can run code if I need to. You can see we're now in Google Colab. So we're going to look at functions and then more functional programming. So this simple function that I define here, say hello, it has the speaker, the person to greet, and then the greeting. I'm doing a default here. This is a handy feature to make use of. The default greeting is hello. So if I say hello, Jeff and John, it'll say hello, John, this is Jeff. I can also put the greeting in if I want to override. So now I'm not saying hello anymore. I'm saying goodbye, John. This is Jeff. And you can also specify the actual parameters. This can be useful if there's a whole bunch of them. If you've got like 20 parameters, you probably want to put names in there just so that you're not relying on Python to just by default put in the order as you would expect it. So function is a great way to put something in that is commonly used. So here, what I am doing is creating a function that takes a string and it strips it and it capitalizes the first letter of the string. So it's taking T0, which is the stripped down version of the string with any white space on the beginning and end removed. And it is uppercasing that first letter and then it's printing the rest of the string. So zero in an array of a string is an array of characters. Zero is the first letter. I'm calling dot upper to make it uppercase. And then we're adding in the rest of the string, not modifying the case. So one colon means from character one, which is the second character in the string, to the end of the string. And then you can call this. We process hello with some beginning and trailing spaces. And it comes out as just hello. I put the quotes around it in the print just so that we're able to see if those trailing spaces and leading spaces are still there. You've heard of map reduce. And map reduce is two functions that are very common to operations in functional programming languages. And Python can certainly operate in the, in the world of functional programming. So you can now take map, and map is usually the first part of like a big data operation. Map is where you essentially prepare all of the data. You take all a, a big ex expanse of data and you run some sort of function over it. The output from the, the map operation, you should have the same number of values in the list unless you have some, unless you run it through a filter or something such as that. So here we're taking a list, apple, pear, grape, pineapple, and there's some extra junk space on some of these. And I am going to essentially here call map, and I'm passing in the function that we want to call, which is this process string up here, and passing in this list. And that then takes each one of these values in the list one by one, runs them through the function that we pass to it. So we're passing a function just like it's a data type and it then returns the map and we convert the map into a list so that it's easily printable. And then you have apple, pear, orange, pineapple, all with the strings processed, with all the extra strings removed. So then you have all of the values with their extra spaces removed. Map, you always get the same number of values out as you passed in. Filter lets you take the values that you have and filter out some of them. So here we are going to do list equals 1, 10, 20, 3, negative 2, and 0. And what we do here is we create a second list called L2. We're filtering on a function called greater than 5 that we defined up here. Now, it may seem troublesome to have to create a function just to have one single value in there, but we'll, we'll see we have a better option for that in a moment. But for now, we create a full named bound function. The function's bound to the name. We pass in the name, and we pass in the list, and now we have filtered only those things that are greater than five. Lambda 
deals with when we want to create a lambda function. A lambda function is essentially an anonymous function. It doesn't have a name. And this saves us all the overhead here of having to create this greater than five named function. So here we have the same list and we're doing L2 equals filter, but we do lambda space x colon x greater than five. So x is the parameter to the lambda function and we're filtering only those values that are greater than five. Typically a lambda function only has one parameter because you're passing in these values one by one, but there, there's other, not necessarily, I mean, going back to lambda calculus, which is what this is based on, there's typically one function in their programming languages like Python tend to get a little more liberal with that. And then reduce. Reduce is normally the final step in some sort of a big data operation. Maybe you've mapped everything and now you wanna just crunch the whole thing down to a sum. That is what we're going to do here. We're going to use reduce. We have the same list. We're now, again, breaking that model that I said. We're, this is not lambda calculus, this is computer science. So you can have a more, more liberal definition there. But we're having two values come in for reduce because you're summing something. So you need the two values. We're, we're adding up each of the values. So the first time probably one and 10 come in and then whatever that was, that was 11, then 11 and 20, and it just keeps calling more and more and more. And really, you can do this in any order, and this, this works well with big data and like pushing this out to Spark if it's a very large data set. Now, it doesn't go to Spark automatically. This is just built in map and reduce within Python. If you want to use map and reduce on big data, you're using something like PySpark to get Spark compatible map and reduce function. Thank you for watching this video. If this was helpful, please give me a like. That helps the algorithm, it helps my channel as well. And if you want to watch additional videos on this course and other projects as I add them, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.